Alamin Kimafi, who was arrested yesterday, was granted cash bail after Chief Magistrate Gilbert Mutembe dismissed a prosecution plea that his freedom could jeopardize state security. The charges brought against him include resisting arrest and that of incitement during last Friday's deadly demonstrations. However, Alamin did not plead to those charges with his lawyer Harun Dubi, arguing that words quoted by police did not constitute incitement and that the charges were defective. Today's ruling by the magistrate can be seen as a reprieve for Alamin Kimathi after spending one night in the police cells. This could be temporary though as the prosecution prepares to justify the charges against him on Friday. And now the Kenya National Commission on Human Rights will carry out its own independent investigations into last Friday's riots. The commission has condemned the violence from both sides during the protests. Among the critical areas of inquiry include the claim that the demonstrators shot at the police with live bullets. The ISKCHR is equally contracting the services of independent ballistic and medical experts to examine and determine the circumstances of the shooting of the GSU officers. But as this goes on, a major row is brewing at the coast. A Muslim youth group in Mombasa says it will hold demonstrations in the coastal town this Friday to protest Al Faisal's continued detention. Calls that have been disowned by the Supreme Council of Kenya Muslims Coast Branch. Tutaandamana kwa amani ikiwa kuna mtu atafanya fujo hiyo si sisi sisi tutaandamana kwa amani kazi ya polisi ni kumshika yule anafanya fujo na kumchukulia hatua nchi zote hazimtaki mtu huyu sasa sisi kwa nini tu tumtaka sana tuiambia serikali impeleke kwao it's still not clear when Sheikh Abdul Al Faisal will be deported but there is no doubt that his continued presence in the country is a source of concern Hussein Mohammed Citizen TV